guys, this is Julie. Uh, good afternoon. I'm going to take a look at the monthly distribution. And you can see we got way down to the edge of the monthly. The um, normal bell curve is up here. There's your PT3 to PT3 right there. So that was your 3 to 3 range of the month and you can see we broke that monthly range on the 18th and it ran all the way to the end of that really that first standard deviation of the overall move. Uh, was that actually um, the size of the 3 to 3 extended from the PT1 and that is algorithmic uh, for a reason. The markets are algorithmic and these ranges can be set up um, with the PT indicator on your weekly, monthly, daily and run your extensions. So I ran this to the 68, the first standard deviation. Um, and you can add more tails to your profile, uh, your chart, if if it did break, uh, but that would have been really a disaster. Um, probably easily would have run to uh, one time below the PT3, so it would have come down an additional, you know, good bit, uh, maybe down to 13 to 6725 potentially as a sell-off place. And that may be the location for the bottom when it comes back and tests these, takes these lows out. Um, it could go and try to get that one full standard DV, uh, move off the PT3. That's what I'm trying to say, spit it out. But on Tuesday we get a new um, box, a new monthly range. So I like to take the measured from the one to the one and extend it down and that could likely be locations to look to see where this ends up on settlement Monday um, relative to these lines and if it is in the lower end price settles somewhere in this lower end, then that monthly distribution is that opens on Tuesday will be much lower than the current. So you'll have that big gap down in the level and a big, you know, down gap. So um, with the price opening in the middle of that new big area so it could um, open in the middle and quickly run to the end uh, because you won't be making such a drastic move and take out these lows easily run to the full standard deviation and then bounce back up here. Right there, bounce going higher here, back up. But keep your eye on where the new monthly distribution opens on Monday and that will help you determine whether the market is bid higher, risk on, and that will never get readdressed or whether it's going to come back and take that out. To see in historical, you know, context, never, hardly ever, ever does it get down to the bottom of the monthly distribution like that. It is extremely rare and that's why I had the full confidence that the market makers were going to come in here and push it back up uh, and not let it slip below because this was COVID and it didn't even slip below the first time it hit the line. It took many attempts to break it even. Um, and that was COVID. So, 
yeah, they weren't going to break that level. I have to have trust in my level. So see here, they took it back, opened in the middle of the chart, went to the one, and then came back and took that low out. So I think we could see something like this, that it does go back and get that low eventually, and then start working, you know, back down potentially. Um, I did notice that this is a head and shoulders starting. So we've got our, oops, never know how to do these arcs. Here is the head, or shoulder rather, sorry. Here is the head, big double head, double sided monster. And when this pushes price up, going into Tuesday, right here, And it could potentially then turn around and be the third shoulder for that head and shoulders move on the daily. So anything in here would be a shoulder. Okay, so for that reason, I'm thinking that if the, if they break this level that we're at right here, higher, it'll most likely come up to this next level. If they fail here on Monday, then they're going to try to get to this level and then take it back up for the new distribution. So just keep an eye, we are at really a support resistance level uh, already with the structure of just measuring from the one to the one and then extending that out twice. You can see that you've got your levels. And we're sitting at that level right now and that's where price went up and stopped very algorithmic. Uh, for the back test, um, there were some questions that came up about the back test. Um, we're able to um, get it working. I recommend that you go to your control panel in NinjaTrader in the tools and go to the historical data tab and over here click load, select your instrument and then select uh, about six months of data, maybe more, and download that when you're connected to your data feed. That way when you run a back test in Blackbird by going to your charts, hitting strategies, adding shark indicators Blackbird, and then on the right side you want to make sure that the back test is clicked and enabled is clicked and apply your strategy, clicking the order settings button. See, I didn't call it the thing. Going into your um, dashboard, click open. You can apply the template I gave you. Bring it in. I'm testing the slope up, so it required that upslope on a 60-15-5 combination. Uh, you've got the template, you can see what that combination is. And the um, basis for this is to separate Globex uh, custom time series from the RTH session custom time series set up for the 15 minute uh, bar. And um, I've shown you how those um, can be configured inside uh, the Blackbird and this allows it to take a custom time series range and enter at these statistical levels off the high or the low. Uh, the volatility will automatically adjust 
uh, from the high or the low of the bar by a certain percentage, and if it reaches that percentage, uh, a limit order will be entered. And so using these dynamic statistical levels of historic volatility, very simple concept, and you can change um, the levels to whatever you would like. You can use a Fibonacci or a 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, or whatever you would like. Uh, ch change it for the profit targets and the stop losses. Uh, customize uh, what you would like to set up and whether you just want to run one uh, retracement, not three. You know, I'm using three. Um, if one hits and the profit target reaches, you know, do you want to kill kill the trade? For instance, that can be set up also, uh, so that you don't have all the rest of the orders waiting. Um, there's many different ways to set this up, but you just right click the chart, hit Reload Ninja Script, that will run your calculations and check your real real time um, historical and you can see your back test results uh, for this strategy using it when the slope is up and then waiting for a retracement uh, to enter for a custom time series in RTH Globex or um, yeah, RTH Globex and once the strategy starts working it's pretty consistent. There are a couple of um, outliers that I want to go back and look at and see what caused it. But overall, a good consistent performance and a very good cumulative net um, as the strategy goes forward, as you can see on the chart. Something that's very worth, you know, the time to further look at it and uh, go back and review each specific entry, um, change your data series to plot, and then you can come in and see when an order executed, profit target reached on both of these. Look. And or if it was a stop, it'll say a stop. Lots of profit targets. That's what I like to see. Target reached, target reached. And here was a stop, so they don't all work. But you can review them. And like I said, I like to go through on the off days. The, you know, this was on an on day. The tar profit targets were all reached but you can go back and look at the off days and see if there's something that would tell you, you know, to change, make a tweak in your code uh, for the entry logic and um, prevent that from happening, even if it, you know, it's worth going back and reviewing. So that I recommend. So you go back into your data series and then toggle this back off so that you're not looking at all the plots. But the plots are there as well as you can go in and look at the trades. Um, there's some other analytics in the NinjaTrader platform that you can look at. Okay, But that's that. I'll be glad to give you the templates for the Bloodhound and Blackbird if you would like them. Just let me know and um, stop by the website, pick up the um, PT indicator. And we'll talk at you soon. Thank you so much. I'll have a great weekend.